Hello everybody, welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Drunk Wine 5Ds, it's still the same session from episode 1, I'm still going strong, folks. And I, uh, I'm feeling the drunkenness pretty, pretty hard. Let's, um... Uh, okay, I talked to Jusei, I don't know what to do now. I think maybe I can get a free item if I go down here, talk to a box. Let's, let's uh, eat something in the way. Just an empty box, useless, okay. I'm gonna finish off my glass of wine as I walk up here, folks. I should have done that between episodes, but I was too busy peeing. What are you gonna do? All right. Um, we could go to the Dual Runner store, but I don't really care. Don't need to update, uh, up, upgrade my Dual Runner right now. What we need to do is go figure out what's the next uh, plot thread of the game. To continue the plot, I could be dueling random people to get more DP. But honestly, I think my deck is pretty good as it is. So we just need to figure out... Oh, and we walk into... What's this guy's name? Kalen? Kalen? He becomes a bad guy later on. But right now, he's also a, a member of Team... Uh, oh, the Enforcers? Or the... Are we Team Satisfaction or are we the Enforcers? I don't know. I think I gotta duel this guy. Alright, let's duel Kalen! Monkey versus Kalen in his 18th trial to glory. Maybe we are the enforcers. I don't know why I thought it was called Team Satisfaction. Maybe that's just a thing from the from the anime. Maybe I'm making that up and it sounds fucking retarded. I don't know. But we're going to duel Kalen and I'm so fucking drunk right now. Uh, I love Zing Zeng Hu. I don't know how to pronounce it. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but Zing Zeng Hu is a great card. That should be still used to this day. Uh, and we'll also throw down seven tools of the bandit. We've got a level four tuner. And... Okay, so Nimble Mimanga. Nimble Mimanga, as we learned last episode, is the best card to use in conjunction with tuners, especially a level four tuner. So we'll throw him down and end the turn. The Mr. Kalen over here, Elliot Kalen, if you know who that is, is going to use Allure of Darkness to draw two cards. Discard a dark... And that's it. And what is he going to summon? Headless Knight. Go ahead and attack. I don't give a single fuck. I don't give a single flip. I forgot Yu-Gi-Oh is for children. I can't cuss. I don't give a single flip. Get rid of Nimbo Mamanga. Because I'll just gain a thousand points and add two more to the field. Completely fine by me. Let's do it. We'll set Nimbo Mamanga number one. We will set Nimbo Mamanga number two. Folks, it's 12.30 a.m. I wouldn't be surprised if I was doing this till 4 a.m. I don't know what level of drunk I'll be by then, but it's not going to be comfortable for anybody involved. And he's got two face downs, which means activate Zing Zeng Hu. Perfect. You played right into my fucking trap because Zing Zeng Hu means you, you select two face down spells or traps and you, you tell them that they can't be activated. So you're completely fucked. And I've got a Seven Tools of Abandon and a Dust Tornado, so your spells and traps will be uh, pretty useless for quite a while, I would say. Now, which level 6 Synchro do I want to summon this turn? I can summon Bryonek, which is a great, great card. Uh, I can summon Flamevel during the attack between this... Uh, okay, so does Piercing Damage. Is that the idea? Does Piercing Damage and gains points? Well, Piercing Damage isn't really relevant right now and I can also summon Gaia Knight maybe I'll summon Brianek because he's a fun card to have he's a fun card to have I'll flip summon both of my nimble Mamangas. and your card is 1450 yeah so, well I could summon Chiron the mage and since you can't use your two traps I can just attack you with all of them without synchro summoning I'll just do that for now. Because we can always Synchro Summon next turn when you throw something face down and then do some massive damage. So we will attack your Headless Knight with Chair on the Mage to do 350. And then we'll do 2,000 damage with our Nimble Mamangas and then we'll end our turn and there's not much you can do. Like what, you summon a monster and attack a Nimble Mamanga? Like I give a fuck. I'll, I'll probably gain more points than you'll do damage to me anyway so it doesn't really mean anything. Plus, I'll have another Nimble Momanga on the field that I can Synchro Summon with next turn to summon uh, Bryonek the Ice Barrier. So you're kind of fucked. What are you going to do? You're going to throw down a face down? Doesn't matter. I'll use Dust Tornado on it. 
Ooh, okay, you summon a new Doria. Which is, a. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't Synchro Summon, because that guy could have easily destroyed my Synchro Monster in one fell swoop. Ah, uh, fuck. Shit. So he's gonna just... wait. Um... Okay, that's fine. I thought he was suiciding, but he's not. He'll destroy my monster, I'll gain another thousand points. The problem is, if I destroy Nudior... Nudior... what's it called? Nudia? Ooh, what's that do? From your opponent's graveyard. Okay, he's gonna remove my monsters from play. Whatever, I don't really care. Uh, good thing I didn't have my Quick Bolt Hedgehog. That would have been annoying. Oh, Quill Bolt Hedgehog, I mean. I think that's a meme from the old Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. That would have been annoying. If I destroy you by battle, you can destroy one of my cards, which I don't want to let happen. What we will do... <sighs> That's a tough one. I could... You know what I could do? I could summon Flamevel Magician, summon Bryonek, and then for the rest of the entire game, send your monster back to your hand and keep attacking you directly for 18 plus 23, which is what, like... 41? I can't do math right now, but I'm pretty sure I win. So let's do that. Brianek, you're the best fucking card in the game. Let's do it. Brianek again, but this time we'll actually use his effect. We'll get rid of Flame Vell and Nimble Mamanga to summon Flame. Oh no, to summon Brianek in attack position. But wait, that's not all. We'll also use. Nope, not your ability. We'll use his ability. To send him to the graveyard, because if there, he likes being special summoned from the graveyard. Wait, have I normal summoned? Yeah, I did normal summon this turn. We'll send Quillbolt Hedgehog to the graveyard to send New Doria back to your hand, and thanks to Zing Zeng Hu, you're wide open for two direct attacks. Cheer on the mage, 1800 damage, go, kaboom! Yeah, I think you're done next turn, my friend. I think we got you on this one. Brionek, attack directly for 2300. And then next turn, I'm going to have two cards in my hand, which pretty much guarantees my victory. Pretty much no matter what you do, you're done, because I'm going to send all your cards back to your hand, and then I win. Game so easy, you can do it drunk. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Never mind! Holy fuck! Fuck! Okay, Soul Exchange is one way to get over what I was planning. Oh, so he tributes my Brianak to summon Patrician of Darkness. He's not a pleb, he's a Patrician of Darkness. Fuck! But he can't attack on the turn that he does that shit. So if I draw a good monster, I win. And I sure did. I fucking win. Fuck you, it's over. I summon Junk Synchron. Which allows me to special summon Nimble Mamanga from my graveyard. So let's do it. Nimble Mamanga in defense position, but that's not all, folks, because I'm also going to activate the effect of the Quillbolt Hedgehog to also special summon him in um, attack mode. But wait, that's not all, folks, because then we could use. We could special summon. Ooh, should we go for the Mistworm? I was gonna go for Junk Synchron, but let's go for Mistworm, because that's cool. Let's do a Junk Synchron. We, we need to do how much? Oh, okay, so I guess you, and then a you. Yeah, Mistworm, I've actually never summoned this before. It's always been in my deck, even when I played this on my own time. Uh, when I summon it, I can send three cards back to your hand, so I guess I'll send back Patrician at Darkness. And uh, I'll, I'll send all of them, even though Zing Zeng Hu already cancelled them. Because I want to get some style points on you, my friend. Zing Zeng Hu, very curious. Stays on the field even when it's not equipped to anything. Uh, Mistworm, go ahead and finish this duel off with a direct attack of 2,500. That's how you do it. It's been fun, Kalen, but Mumkey wins again with 9,800 points. The deck that I constructed in, in about four minutes wins. Yet again. How do you like that, folks? I gotta refill my wine.
Yeah, there we go. Another nice glass of wine ready. And we're up to 1739 DP. We're just winning duels left and right. We're too good for this game. Yeah, I should be the leader. Wait, Kaylin is the leader of the Enforcers? As opposed to Jack Atlas or you say Fudo? But he's fucking sucks. Hey, give me a Gene Warped Warwolf, which I think would actually fit in great with my deck. Pretty sure I have a vanilla 1800 that I could replace with the Warwolf. Why not? I don't see why not. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that real quick. If I could figure out the buttons. There we go. Let's see, Do we have a vanilla uh, card that we can replace? Yeah. Um, um, let's replace... Uh, we'll, we'll replace Great Angus. Just so that it's an equal number of stars. Gene Warped Warwolf. Where's the G's? G... There we go. There we go. We, we made our deck even better. Even though it would be better if I made it to 40 cards instead of 42, but hey, we haven't lost yet. We haven't lost yet. Let's go save the game and see what we have to do next. Give it a quick save right here in the in the booster pack shop. And I think if we return home, maybe we'll be given a task to do next, or maybe we'll be told to go to sleep by Crow. The next turf battle is tomorrow, just like Crow the Bullet here. Crow unironically has the best deck because those, um, those, I don't know what they're called, like Black, Black Crow, Black Swarm, something like that. They're fucking amazing. I think he's the only member of the Enforcer team that I've lost against in, in my other Let's Play of this game. I guess it wasn't a Let's Play, it was me playing on my own. Okay, it's the next day. Let's, I guess, save it again and go do this turf war. I think in a bowling alley or something. We've got a turf against Team Black and Blue. Ready? Yeah, you better believe I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, I gotta change into my Enforcer uniform. Okay, we can do that. Let's go into the options and give us a quick uniform change. We gotta look sexy for this big fight. The Enforcers with a black undershirt. That's I like what I see. I like what I see. Okay, Crow, I'm ready. Let's do it. No no time for eagles. No time for uh, pheasants. It's time for Crow. It's Crow time. Oh, I guess we're not doing the bowling alley one yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so I just got to fight a bunch of uh, gang thugs in this building, so that should be fun. I know you guys love watching duels. Why else would you be on episode 8 or 9 of my drunk Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play if you didn't love watching duels? You're... I doubt you're here to watch duel puzzles and uh, and motorcycle let's plays. Let's see. Can we get some free items in here? What do you got in this box? There's got to be something nice. Nothing useful. Great. So far, so good. Let's see what's over here. What's in this room? It leads to a basement. Okay. And there's a guy hiding back here, I believe. Hey, you want a duel, bitch? Get the... Yeah, let's duel. Arasha Yiyama. We're gonna duel the fuck out of this guy. Here we go. Yeah, let's duel. Um, I know it's a little early, but uh, I don't want to cut off a Let's Play mid-duel. So, uh, we're gonna end this one a minute early, folks. Tune in next time to see who wins between Arashiyama and me.